Hey Scorpio, how are you doing my darling? We're gonna dive, we're gonna dive deep straight into your consciousness across space and time. I am looking at a Scorpio who has been out in the cold, maybe going through unemployment, struggling to get a job, struggling to upscale in your career, struggling to get that business off the ground, struggling to get that promotion, struggling with something from the past. A relationship from the past. We're going to look at that. We're going to look at you getting money paid back to you. I feel like you're owed money. Someone owes you money. You're going to get that back. Don't worry. And we're going to balance out these feelings of being alone out in the cold. You may have gone through homelessness. You may be struggling financially. The four of swords is out here. Take some time to rest. If you are financially okay and you don't need to work extra hours, you don't need to take on another job, you don't need to do anything at this time, you can just rest, rest. Don't beat yourself up. Don't worry and stress. If everything else is taken care of and you can take time off to rest, rest. That is the advice. You need to rest. You've been doing too much of something. It's been stressing you out. It's been burdening you. It's been making you upset. You've been mentally conflicted. God is going, just let go. We've got you, yeah? That means I know that you're praying, you're doing something positive, okay? I'm really sorry to hear what you're going through. I'm really sorry, okay? I don't think you talk to people enough about your emotions and your mental health and your well-being. And I really see that you are absolutely a good person because I see you working with God. I see you changing your life around. I see you being more spiritual. I see you trying to heal, I see you not trying to say negative things about people. I see you really pushing away from liars, evil, bad mind, manipulative, any bad energy. You don't want none of it. You don't want it near you. You're converting your whole um, belief system and religion. You are convert. You could be converting to like um, even um, Islam or something or devout Christian. I see like rosary beads or prayer beads. Like you know when someone goes to prison and they come out and they're converted. That's what I feel. But I don't feel like you've been to prison. You may have, but I feel like you've gone for a massive conversion nonetheless. Stay close to your church. Stay close to your priest. What, local church near you, wherever it is, go there every Sunday. Don't be late. Yeah? Whatever it is for you, temple, mosque, church, whatever you're doing, I'm giving you confirmation. You're doing the right thing. Because for, I don't often come in a read and say, God said this, or God said that. Sometimes I do, but that's because I feel it in my soul. Because my energy rises up and I get goosebumps and my hair st stands up on my arms and I feel the presence of spirit. So sometimes I say, God, but I'm talking about the angels, the archangels, passed on loved ones, God's children, God's deities, the ones that do all the work for God. Yeah? Gods and goddesses are really powerful in Hinduism and that is my closest faith along with Christianity so when I talk about gods and goddesses and deities I'm talking about the descendants from the supreme god yeah and we all have our different supreme god our different view of god but there's always different um, ways we can worship and pray so you're finding yours and you're doing the right thing I see a relationship in the past that you're getting passionate about like to really Get it done. Get it over and done with that trauma, that bullshit, that lies, the deceit, the pain of it. You're moving on. It's taken a long time, but you're getting there. Yeah. Six years to two years, I see. Whatever's gone on in this relationship. The high priestess, the star, the emperor and the six of pentacles. You're really, really waking up. You're powerful. You're gifted spiritually. I think that you are highly empathic, highly sensitive. Can you start buying books on spirituality? Highly sensitive people. Stay tuned to my community notes section. I'm going to start posting books in the community notes of books that you should read as a, as a spiritual being. You're going to grow up to be a really wise sage. I'm going to see you getting a really big beard maybe even getting dreadlocks one of those rosters that wear one of those um big hats um i see a white hat with a, a white roster hat with a, a, a cap at the front like it's a cap but it's really a cap for your dreads that's what i see someone with and i see some or even like a do raggy kind of um head wrap not a do -rag. what is that it's like cloth tied in some kind of turban way and then a long beard long beard long beard your beard's just gonna grow long over years yeah you could even put like black and 
red and green and gold in your beard to represent culture talking to someone who's like iry and earthy and natural you could be going vegan in diet going idle lifestyle go and look at a rastafarian lifestyle go and look at idle living i think that's more you i want to say alkaline crew i don't know if that's a thing maybe go and listen to alkaline go to spotify listen to alkaline or maybe i'll put alkaline in the um, description if i remember if not you do it now but um yeah go and listen to alkaline and some more music like that i think that's your vibe i think that's your energy i think you're finding yourself yeah seven of pentacles you're really healing you've gone really slow with this you've been through a lot you had to find jesus i think you were homeless i think you were in a really toxic place where it was life or death or prison and i think you were really lied to as a child growing up about what is right and wrong and what you believe in and you are given a really hard way to ascend and move forward and a lot of toxicity rised up because of that i see your money improving in like four months take time off do what you've got to do and that opportunity is going to present itself if i'm wrong come back into four months and tell me i'm wrong but in my heart i don't often say this i have a lot of heart for this reading because I, I feel a lot of like sad energy like bullshit that you should have never went through in your life do you get what i mean like you've been given a really shit hand in life that's what i get so not only that what i see for you moving forward is um give yourself three to four months and an opportunity is going to fall in your lap a new job a new way to make money money a new thing that you've manifested just let go and do what you want to do every day in your life if that is eat junk food play video games um i was going to say something inappropriate i'm going to avoid to say that you know what i'm talking about do what you want to do it's your life we're going to mind our business um obviously everything you do is illegal and upstanding and then other than that just stay positive keep going keep pushing forward and just let go for a little while because god's going to show you the way the one thing i can guarantee it on is when life gets hard and you don't know what to do just go to God. God will tell you the, the truth. God will show you the way. God will save you. For a long time in my career when I wasn't feeling good, God told me to quit my job. God told me he would provide for me. God told me he will get me a house. Job to God told me he will get my life back together. God told me he will get me an amazing business. God told me he will make me rich. God told me who I should believe in, who I should love, who I should care for, what I should and shouldn't do. And I trusted it. And I listened to God every day. And... It worked. God's real, okay? Please believe me and know that God is real. And um, God loves you. And um, I feel really positive to come here and deliver this message to you today. Because the main message to you today is God's real. And he knows you. And he sees you. And he believes in you. And he's so proud of you. Yeah? He's, God is so proud that you are his child. I don't often speak like this. I'm channeling. I'm being guided to say this. This isn't me. This is the energy that I'm in when I'm connecting with your experience. God loves you. God loves you. You don't need anyone else. God loves you. I promise you. And I feel really bad because I feel like me saying I promise anyone and everything is really against policy and practice for someone like me and readings like this. You just don't do it. It's really unprofessional. But I, I, I can't help but know. I know. This is a general reading and I don't even know who I'm connecting with or how many people are going to resonate with this. If you do, hit the like. But this is just to let you know God's seen you. You've done something lately. You prayed. You, you, it's not even a... You haven't been doing this for a week. You haven't done this for 10 minutes. You've been working really, really hard. Either six years or two years. Maybe dedicated over the last two years. You've really focused on this. You've told God what's going on. You've moved all the evil out of your life. God sees you. God knows you. God knows you really well. God made you. God's going to make you better. God's going to make your life great. God's going to give you more money. God's going to give you a lot more money, okay? God is going to change your life in miraculous ways that you would never believe. God is going to really give you the life that you want. God's going to fix it, yeah? I'm not joking. This isn't a this isn't a scam reading. Like I don't know what to say to you. I hope you know. 
Should we pray? Can we pray? Yeah. Let's let's change the energy of the reading. Let's, this is what I do and really helps me. When I, when I feel this way and I'm getting a bit emotional, right? But sometimes the power of God is so strong that I can't pray for anything else. All I do is say, God, I thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for seeing me, Lord. Thank you for loving me, Lord. Thank you for reminding me, Lord. I'm, I feel you, Lord. I know you hear me. Thank you for proving to me, oh Lord, that you're going to that you're real, that you're here, I've devoted my life to you, I'm so sorry that I was lost, and God's like, don't be sorry, what are you sorry for, I put you through all of this, God is saying, I'm sorry, my child, I'm sorry, my child, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to find you, for you to find me, I'm so sorry, sometimes in life, right, we are being put through hell since childhood, abused, lied to, manipulated, given awful parents, given awful upbringings, been put through hell just for that one day where God can walk in and say, you've done your job now, child. This is why I sent you to earth. This is why you reincarnated on this planet. This is why I made you. Now you're ready to use those gifts and that darkness that you were forced to live in and shine up as the light you are. You are an earth angel and you are an empath. You are a healer. You are a sage. You are a seer. You are a gifted person. I need you to go and look at clear senses. If you go to hermitology.me, You'll find loads of different topics, but if you click to the top right, it will say press. You go to press, and there's loads of uh, magazines there. You'll have to download it on Google Drive, to so do it on your laptop. You can read through loads of different stuff, or you can just Google Claire Senses. The main thing you need to know about are Claire Senses. I'll put a li I'll write that down now, because this is quite serious. Claire Senses. I think you're gonna you hear God yeah I think you've been hearing voices for a long time I need you to look at the clear senses list I've got one on my own website that I made myself in one of my own publications but there's a PDF that's easily available online I'll put it in the description just for you because I've written it down and it's that important okay God talks to you God shows you things you are prophetic you have dreams and visions that come true. You are a magical child of God. You are an empath. You are gifted. All the bad things you went through in your life is because you had these special powers that weren't activated. And it's come down your ancestry, your lineage. And now it's on you to break the ancestral curse and awaken to who you're destined to be. You're incredibly powerful. You're an empath. You're a star seed. You're a light worker. You're incredibly gifted. You're so powerful, okay? powerful people like us we struggle we burn and die before we ever rise up yeah the phoenix rising from the ashes you are going to be a sensational human being on this planet over the next 10 years your life is going to be totally different you're going to be unrecognizable and you are going to be the light of someone's life someone's savior someone who loves you very much and you're going to have a team a network a healthy salary people around you that love you i think you're going to travel as well to um, foreign places maybe for forbidden places as well you might go on like excursions in like the amazon or dark jungle or caribbean places where you're not meant to go because in my mind i saw rastafarianism for you and um hermit living and a lot of hermit living yeah they live up in the mountain tops in in the caribbean like in the in jamaica jamaica in the deep deep forest up in the deep bush bushman we call them you're a bushman you're meant to be a bushman, really, in Asia, Malaysia, Africa, Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, wherever you're going to go, St. Lucia, Grenada, Guyana, I think you're going to travel the world. I think you might go on tour and teach and educate people about this way of life. You might sing music, you, might use, you may have used to rap, but now you're singing Irie songs, your rap's turning into an Irie flow, Yeah. That's why I said go listen to Alkaline. Let me write that down too. I'm going to put all this in the comments for you, okay? This is a really important, important reading I've done today. I nearly had a breakdown trying to get that energy out. Because God wants you to know that he's real. And he sees you. And you are his child. 
And when you get that energy, I know what that feels like. It lets me know your mom and dad weren't your parents because God was your parent. You didn't get on with your parents because your parents weren't your parents. Your, par your father is God. Your mother is more than likely Mother Gaia if you're into this earthly stuff. So I'm telling you now, your parents ain't your parents because God and Gaia are your parents. Ra and Gaia are your parents. Go and watch the from the Brahman series on the homepage. My gosh, I'm going to leave you a long list in the description, okay? Brahman series, uh, Ra and Gaia. Go and check out all the content on the channel. Go and explore your way around. Go to hermitology.me and look at the debates. But the Brahman series, the Ra and Gaia, really powerful for you about um, awakening and spirituality. I don't know how advanced you are. I feel like you're coming into this new awakening just now, but you've been working with God personally on your own for maybe six years. In between two and six years. Two years ago, something shifted massive in your life and you had a massive boycott of anything negative anything criminal anything bad mind anything toxic you change your life forever god's saying i see you god's saying look at where you're at now and where you were at two years ago look where you were at two years ago and look where you're at now tell me i'm not real whatever god told you to do that day whatever god asked of you at that time you did it right you heard that voice in your head and it told you to do something that normal people wouldn't do but you didn't have any other option you thought fuck it i'll listen let me do it and look what happened god was talking to you this is confirmation god heard you that day you were talking to god you talked to god you and god have a personal relationship you know god personally not a lot of people know god personally that's why you're going through this. You know God. God knows you. God knows you by name and face. There's a lot of people on this planet. God knows everyone, but not everyone knows God on a first name basis. You're, you and God are bum chums, best mates. How lucky are you? Let me tell you, you don't need nothing in your life ever again from anyone else. Anything dark, anything negative. Go to church. Go to church. That's all you need. You don't need to friend up with the pastors or the people from the church. You can go up there, be solo, be the hermit that you are. Go to different churches. Go to a temple. Go to a mosque. Go to whatever you believe in. Find your own religion. Yeah? Because I don't want to say go church, go church if you have a different belief. But I feel like it is Christianity. But I feel like it's a specific... There's loads of different churches out there. There's Catholic. There's um, Jehovah. There's... Um, oh, Christianity. So many layers to Christ. Read the Bible, read scripture, keep a Bible at your bedside, keep a Bible under your bed, read a scripture verse every day, get this Bible app on your phone, level up, level up, wear prayer beads around your neck, beads on your arms, start leveling up, bring prayer into your life, get a cross for your bedroom, a cross for your front room, a cross, a cross all around, get prayer mats if you have prayer mats, start leveling up, start getting that energy in, start getting that feng shui, start eating that idle food, you are on a journey my friend and your life is way better for it you have awakened to who you are praise the lord god is with you keep going stay strong okay power to the people